Oh no, I think she's here already. Many of you probably know that I'm kind of nuts about cycling. So you can imagine my excitement when I got an opportunity to test ride a legendary bike, a triathlon dream machine from the future. Care of my mate, Jane Hansom. Hi, Jane. Hi. Yeah. There's gonna be a race later on, me versus Jane. We'll give you the details of that in a minute, but first of all, I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions about the bike, uh, and then we're gonna get on with the first of two challenges. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Cool. First question, okay. all right? What have you done with the, the seat posts and seat stays? This whole triangle is gone. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first of all, well, this is, a, this is a completely new bike. Yeah. So I haven't actually ridden this yet, and it's gonna look even more crazy because when I get my bike fit, this is going to be cut off. Right, okay, so, so that's going to be so, a completely open so, triangle. So this will be completely open. So this is the carbon monocoque frame that Savella have been talking about. Yeah, it's, it's very special. It is, it is absolutely stunning. And what's, what's really interesting for me, um, some of the stuff that I've read about, because this really is the stuff of legend. These are like hen's teeth. I believe there's three currently yeah, available basically. in the... In yeah. the UK? Yeah, yeah. basically. And, and one, of, one of the big features that everyone's been talking about, because it's designed purely over several years of painstaking development around the concept of, of doing long endurance cycle stages, right? Where things like comfort and the ability to carry your mechanical spares and loads of food. I mean, what's the figure? Is it something like 1,500 calories per athlete is, yeah. is carried on these bikes. Yeah. And the reason I'm making this point when we talk about the frame is obviously these sections here all provide uh, storage. In fact, there's another storage facility around the back, isn't there? Can we have a yeah. quick look at that? If we just yeah. carefully spin it around, Jane. There we go, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so, so you, you whack your uh, gas bottles Little valve thingy. Yeah, it's perfect for your tires and your levers and your gas. So basically your spares go in here, nice, nice, neatly tucked away. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about them, which leaves the rest of the bike for nutrition and hydration. Here, for example, is where a lot of triathletes, obviously they, they store, I'm pointing at you because I know you do, <laughs> store their toolbox in there. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got water there, which is great. Yeah. And, then, and then this, I'm guessing, is a, a refill. Yeah, so this is a second, um, but so I'll have two bottles on this bike. I'll have one on the back and one um, on, on here. And there's also a third position to have a third bottle on the front. So Velo just made this the most adaptable, adjustable bike humanly possible so that you could actually set up the bike exactly the way you wanted. Okay, so the thing I really want to talk about, and I think it's probably the component that I'm most excited about, is the um, wireless SRAM ETAP. So, if you're not insane about bikes, then you, but you're into gadgets, you need to know about this. It's a completely wireless gear system, but I'll let Jane explain how it works on the P5X. Um, okay, so, um, so there's a little box here, um, which is your junction box. You have got shifters um, on the end of the bars here and also on the hoods. And ultimately, you can change the gears when you're um, in an aero position or when you're um, riding the hoods and it changes wirelessly. So that basically means that there's no cables, there's no nothing. It's really clean. It's really easy. I mean, I love it. I, I had an um, ETAP on my P5 as well. And you know what? I'll never go back. So here's the front derailleur. You can see it says red on it. That's the uh, that's one of the wireless receivers. On the back, it's absolutely beautiful. The derailleur is like something out of a kind of Japanese manga motorbike. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? And I believe there's a power ready crank arm, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. So you can you can just you can just install that without messing about with other bits of third party add-ons. You can just upgrade it. Yeah, absolutely perfect. And a lot of triathletes use power. I don't, but. Um, the power meters are massively popular, so it's just dead easy. And finally, this brakes on a triathlon bike. That's, yeah. that's, that's uh, at the moment certainly unusual, but I'm guessing it, it's going to become the norm. 
I think it'll become a thing. It's a thing of the future. So, so I guess the idea is the, the speed you're going on, on, on a bike like this. Where this bike will come really into its own. It's, it's an, on the more mountainous um, or hillier triathlons or Ironmans. Well, look, thanks, Jen. I think I know the P5X a little bit better now, um, which is probably good because we're about to go into challenge number one. We're going to do it in my front room because we need a bit more room. It's based on one of the, the features about this bike which uh, has caught the headlines, okay, and, and, and the interest of a lot of triathletes, and that is that you can fold this up in a way that you can't any other triathlon bike and put it in a box to take to the airport. Basically take out about six bolts and it folds up like a Brompton in about five minutes. Okay, you've said it like a Brompton in about five minutes. In the sexiest bag ever. This is important because uh, challenge number two today is going to be me versus Jane uh, over one lap of Richmond Park, which is about all I could manage at the pace that this lady's gonna set, I can guarantee you that. It's really important that I win this fold-up challenge because it's gonna give me a time advantage in the park, and trust me, I need it. Okay, we've got two P5Xs, and we've got two of these cases, uh, one each, all right, one setup each. Yeah. The challenge is to get that into that, all right? Whoever does it quickest gets an advantage in the race for stage two. Okay. Yay! I've got to win this stage. Aha! That! That's how it happens. Cool. Go! Just total genius, look at that. Okay. Uh, ish. Yeah, okay, and stop the clock. Okay guys, I've got this crazy wrist mounted uh, Hero 3, so I can see Jane coming behind me and I can swizzle around to watch it disappearing into the distance in front of me. And the reason I know that that scenario is very possible is that, of course, I won the packing challenge, so I get one minute advantage, which is enormous. But she's a world champion, so I need it. See ya. See ya. So when do I go? I know this isn't a great shot, I can only apologize. But if I sit and adjust it, Jane is going to take advantage of that and I'm going to lose my one minute lead. My God, this bike is incredible. It feels exactly like it is. A tailor-made suit built for speed and cutting through the air. She's not there yet. She's not there. Getting used to those ETAP uh, buttons on the drops. I've never ridden with them before. All I was given was a quick 30 second intro by the guy from Cervelo back at the house. But they seem pretty intuitive. I've just dropped down a little bit because the shortest and most certainly sharpest of the climbs in Richmond Park is upon me. Oh no, I think she's here already. This will be just like Charles plays to Jane. This man's gonna make me feel better. Francis! Yo! It's not going good. I'm in the lead. My opponent is right behind me. And she's the current World Kona Ironman champion for the group. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't 
believe it. I've got to not overcook it. If I overcook it, you see, there is a chance that she's gone too early. Is there? Stay in those aero bars. Now. Yeah. Huge difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon I might get her on this hill because I do this hill all the time. Yes! Yeah, you see, I thought I might, but let's be honest, be more foolhardy than Jane on that descent. Oh no, she's coming, such a shark. interesting there's loads of videos on youtube where people get knives and they heat them up and they just glide through whatever it is that they're chopping in half you know some kind of games console or fidget spinner or whatever and the truth is this bike is like that through the air Recovered. I'm still deep breathing and I don't know if my brain is actually functioning because all my blood's in my thighs. That was amazing, wasn't it? It was amazing. So final thoughts. I mean, from, from where I'm sitting, what, what's extraordinary to me is how at home I felt on that. It feels the right kind of flexible and the right kind of stiff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's really stiff. And I, and I, felt, um, I felt confidence on the corners. Uh, I also felt confidence going at something like 60 plus kilometers per hour down that final hill. Yeah. Um, and it climbs well. It, it does climb it well. Does climb I was, well. I was, I was, I was thinking that it would be embarrassing at that stage. But how did you feel about that? Yeah, no, no, I loved it. The climb was great. I mean, I, I, I think I expected it to be heavier, but it's, it's totally not. It, it was up that hill pretty quickly. And um, but the thing for it, it was stable too because it was quite windy today. But I wasn't moving at all. I felt like super solid. I wasn't moving at all. <laughs> Not sideways in a straight line. I, I was wasn't really moving mo forward. I yeah. was moving in a straight line. Yeah, it's aero. It's really aero. It is. I love it. It's I a mean, beautiful thing. I love it. I do love my P5. But I do you know what? And I was worried that I wouldn't love this more. But within literally a minute, and that's all it takes to get used to this bike. No, it does. Um, it's it's a cracker. I'm Look. gonna love it. Jane is a big fan. Jane works with Cervelo in terms of just being transparent. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Um, I could say whatever I want about this bike, yeah. even though I love Jane, I want to offend her. I'd say it in kind terms, but all I've got to say is, um, are there any available and can I buy one? It's a beautiful thing. Well done, Cervelo, and thank you, Jane. Oh, pleasure. Are you, there is one thing I forgot to tell you, I yeah. if I mention this. It's, you know, the loser packs up the bikes again. Oh, you're kidding yeah. me. But don't worry, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be having a baked potato in there. <laughs> Um, I can bring you something out. Yeah? 